uh, early stage researchers training in the framework of CIRAM project will be presented by Vivio Marshalina and it's co-authored by myself, Ludo Malik, with Roberto Miguel, and Philippe Oberto. So this video. Uh, I don't know how to close this. <laughs> escape? I escape. So the title was already already so, uh, presented by 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 Alexander, so what I would like to show you some activities that we done regarding the early stage researchers in the CIRAM project. The CIRAM project uh, comes after uh, SEF uh, conference in Belgrade. We start talking what to do uh, together with Alexander, with Roberto Brighetti from Parma and with Filippo Alberto. And we found that call that are uh, uh, coordinating and support up, uh, actions from uh, Horizon 2020, the widespread program, which gives uh, money to improve the knowledge on East part of Europe. I mean, in countries, it's Portugal, it's also uh, part of this, in countries with low income from research. So we did... Uh, we did uh, uh, start writing this, this project. The project was initially for 36 months, but due to COVID, because most of the activities were mobility activities, we cannot do it. We suspended in 2020 for six years and relaunched in, in six months, six months uh, and relaunched in October 2022. So the budget is around 800,000 euro and it starts as a cooperation between TC13, education and training, and the TC15 structural integrity of additive manufacturing uh, components. So we come over with this, uh, let's say, title that East European twinning on structural integrity and durability of advanced materials obtained through additive manufacturing. Uh, we are five partners, three from the East of Europe, Politecnica Timisoara, Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, University of Belgrade, the group coordinated by Alexander. Uh, the Institute of Physics of Materials from Czech Academy of Science, coordinated by Dr. Lubos Nali, University of Parma with, uh, with uh, Roberto Brighenti and Andrea Spagnoli involved in this project, and Norwegian University of Science and Technology from Norway, group coordinated by, by Filippo Berto. So we have three widening countries and two uh, less Western, uh, Western countries in this uh, partnership. So what we want to enhance the scientific and technological capacity of, on our university and to, to contribute to increase its fundamental knowledge in the field of additive manufacturing, then to rise the research profile uh, of the leading institution as well as the research profile of staff and young scholars from all three widening countries, Romania, Serbia and Czech Republic, and to create a hub of excellence in additive manufacturing in East Europe by engaging with the scientific community, industry, society, uh, and uh, uh, large um, public. So our project was uh, uh, organized in five uh, work packages. Two work packages were, were technical, devoted to transfer of knowledge in the additive manufacturing processes and the influence of the parameters on the mechanical properties. The second one, was uh, devoted to modeling and optimization on additive manufacturing uh, uh, processes and uh, modeling the behavior of the additive manufacturing components. The third one was the training of young scholars, and I will focus on this uh, today. And then, as always, we have a, a work package dedicated to communication, dissemination, and exploitation, and the, the, project, uh, the project management. Actually, we scheduled this, but now because of the COVID, so all these things. But the main activities you can see are seminar for students, staff exchange, PhD exchange, workshops, summer schools, which were winter schools, all, all, all that we already done. Uh, so uh, we have, we have a, a 
scheme of uh, mobilities from eastern partners or on the western partners, from Romania to Italy and Norway, from Serbia to Romania to Czech Republic and Norway. So most of these activities are fulfilled. We still have six months, more than six months on running the project. So I hope uh, we can we can we can fulfill all this. Uh, as I mentioned, we have seminar for students, seminar for companies, uh, summer schools, three summer school each year, uh, one summer school in one of the uh, East European country. We have also three workshops. Two of them were were uh, already done. We had in Belgrade last year an East European conference on uh, additive manufacturing, and we will have the final conference in March in, uh, in Timisoara. Uh, we uh, introduced, and it was the first course in additive manufacturing for a master program in Romania. We say this and we implement it because we have this accreditation of the master program and we can fit it in our program. And now uh, our, our colleagues from Belgrade, they also implemented uh, such a course. It's a regular course for master, for master students. Uh, also we have, I think this, this is a very important activity, the, the PhD exchange in this work package. We almost have done uh, more, more or less, we have, we have still have to, to do some, some PhD students. In this moment, I have two PhD students in Parma and one in, in one in Trondheim. So we try to, let's say, recuperate what we lost due to, due to restrictions of the COVID. So what I would like to say is how, somehow to, to, to pick the idea from, from Alexander. So we organized some summer schools, where summer schools were organized in winter. The first one was very challenging in 2021, was first one organized in hybrid mode with participants from Romania in our, in our library and from all other partners from, from, different, from different countries. So we also made for the first time a virtual lab starting in Belgrade with designing the, the 3D models and then printing in Timisoara and testing the, the materials in Timisoara and we were connected uh, video. We have, uh, we have uh, 11 lectures here, invited lectures. For this summer school, I'm not uh, uh, going through all, all, all the names. Uh, and uh, the second winter school was organized this February, this year, in Bruno and online. We have more participants on site now, but we also keep, keep, the, keep the online, the, uh, hybrid mode to organize it. What I would like to say, a part of the lectures, we have a presentation for the opportunity for youngers to attract European money, which uh, was delivered by a lady from University of Parma, which helps us to, to write the project. And also we have a session dedicated to PhD students to present their, their work and to other, also had exam for the students where we give uh, credits. So, three credits for those who attend at least 70% of the, of the lectures. And if they pass the exam, we give two, two more credits. In some countries, it's are important. In Romania, doesn't matter for the PhD students, these credits. But in other countries, like Italy, yeah, 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 this was, this was, uh, this was important. So only some, some, some numbers here. We have 160 participants for each of these, coming from 21 countries. And in the first and in the second, 28. We have participants from South, Af South America, like Colombia, Brazil. We have from Asia, from China, from India. We have from uh, United States. So I, I can say all over the world, five continents. Thanks to the hybrid mode. Yes, yeah. thanks to the hybrid mode. Yes. Thanks to the fact that there were no registration. Yeah, so, so all the activities financed by European Union are free of charge. So. We should, we should, we should keep. Also from Africa, from Morocco, from we have participants. I think otherwise, if we fall only on site, we yeah, could, we'll they could not afford to, to, to come. Um, so we we make this exam. Unfortunately, very few of them choose to take the exam. Thirty six and thirty one pass in the first winter school. In the second, thirty eight, and the, the number of those that uh, pass was increasing. 
Uh, what we did, we record the same like here, all the videos for the first winter school, they are on the SIS uh, YouTube channel, so everybody can, can have access. For the others, because some lectures didn't allow us, are for the participants, you can go in the, in, on, are stored in our web, uh, web page and can be accessed, but only with, uh, with uh, the credentials to, to access. Uh, so, I think I will, I will close this, so I should thank European Union for, for financing this, uh, this program. We, I want to advertise the next, the next uh, let's say, major uh, activities on this project will be the, the third winter workshop in Belgrade, 4 to 6 October. The third winter school also in Belgrade in February, we didn't decide the exact dates. And the final conference in Timisoara, we are all invited. Timisoara next year will be European capital of culture, should be in 2021, but because of COVID, it was two years postponed.